only from you and this is our time Lord this is our time to bless you this is our time for my soul to sing of your goodness for your faithfulness endures forever in our lives God hear us hear our cry hear our praise because only your name only your name in this place only your name in our heart that are worthy to be exalted worthy to be magnified worthy to be glorified only you and it is only you lord
in this place. Thank you, Lord. We want to sing to you. We want to sing to the Lord. All of you, godly ones, brothers and sisters in Christ, let us sing for Him. Praise His holy name. Yes. Because He has turned our mourning into joyful dancing. And He has taken away our clothes of mourning and clothed us with joy that we might sing praises to Him and not be silent. Yes. Lord my God, I will give you thanks forever. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He knows our pain. He knows. 
troubles, our affliction. But His promise will never fail in our lives. He will not forsake us when we cry out to Him. We know that He listens to us. He listens to our prayer. He knows when we need Him. He is beside us all the time because He is the God of Emmanuel. He is the God who stays with us and He will never change. Yesterday, today, and forever. Lord, now this is the time this is the time when we want to cry out to you in the midst of all these uncertain things, Lord, that may block us not being able to do anything. But we know that you are our healer, you are our protection, Amen. you are our strong tower. Yes. And we know that when we say, Lord, I need you. I need you every hour, every minute, every second. Yes. Yes. You know that you will bless us. Amen. Because you are our Savior. And when we come to you, you know that you, we know that we, you are there for us. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus.
Lord Jesus, thank you for this afternoon, Lord Jesus, that we can serve you, Lord Jesus, as Lord and Savior in our life. Such a great privilege to each one of us, Lord Jesus. Let your name be glorified. Let your name be lifted up, Lord Jesus. You are God Almighty. We are your servant. You are our God, Lord Jesus. And we believe, Lord Jesus, your word will prevail, Lord Jesus. Never fail. Your love will prevail, Lord Jesus. Therefore, today, Lord Jesus, every one of us that doubt, every one of us that sad, every one of us that worry, trust Him. Return to Him. Believe Him. His word never fail. It will prevail. It will prevail. How long, God, this time will be? We never know. But one thing that we know, the assurance that came from you. You are God of Emmanuel. You are God always be with us. Therefore, today is time for us to surrender totally unto you, Lord Jesus. Believe means you surrender yourself. You surrender your life. You surrender. Because we can't do anything else, Lord Jesus. Lift up your hand if you really surrender. You really believe that He speak to you now. He speak to you now. You need Him even more. Even more. More than before. You need Him. Thank you, Lord Jesus. I need you, Lord Jesus. I need you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you for today. Thank you for this time, Lord Jesus. Speak to each one of us, Lord Jesus. We humble ourselves, Lord Jesus. We put aside everything else, Lord Jesus. We empty it ourselves, Lord Jesus. We will receive your word, Lord Jesus, with humbleness, Lord Jesus. With humility, Lord Jesus. So this word will save us will restore us. We believe in the name of Lord Jesus Christ, all who believe says, Amen. Shalom. I miss all my family, my brother, my sister in Lexington Garden, and also in Brisbane. Uh, Make hopefully you are there, and also everyone. But the time that nobody can disconnect us is our fellowship, our belief, our prayer. We are one. We always, you are always in my prayer. And believe me, you are always in my mind. And therefore today, I believe we are not alone. We are not alone. We always in our fellowship in the spirit. Amen. Okay, let's uh, open up the word of God today. So be happy, don't worry. Believe in God and he will show you that he is a really living God. Okay, this morning, so I already shared in Bahasa Indonesia, uh, 1 uh, Peter 5. I will continue on because we are not really finished this morning. Because uh, our uh, uh, word of God today from 1 Peter 5, verse 1 to 11. So I already uh, spoke about... Uh, uh, first one to first four. I will uh, read it again a little bit. So, uh, as I said, in this moment of time, sometimes look like very bad. But wa- one thing that I believe, God can turn that a bad thing, a bad plan from the wicked one to be a good thing. Amen. So, therefore, uh, today I believe in this ca- in this moment, in this season. So. Uh, we are not only been attacked by uh, virus, but also we need to combat back. We have to fight back. So how? So this is the word of God, really. So uh, from 1 Peter 5, verse 1 to 4, this morning I already uh, uh, conveyed, but I will read it a little bit. So 
To the elders among you, I appeal as a fellow elders and witness of Christ sovereign who also will share in the glory to be revealed. I believe this is not only for the elders, not only for the pastor, not only for the shepherd. Why? Because first two they said, be shepherd of God's flock that is under your care. So I believe, if we believe with 1 Peter 2 verse 9, that every one of us is a chosen generation and a, whole, a royal priesthood, so that God already been ordained us uh, become a royal priesthood. So we need to care our family, not only to feed them with physical food, but we need to care with spiritual food, therefore, he entrusted our family. Now we can't go to the church. The pastor can't visit you there. But believe me, God omnipresent. God is everywhere. Therefore, now you will use by God as a shepherd. Amen. God will use you as a shepherd. Because God been ordained you in 1 Peter 2 verse 9 that you are a royal priesthood. Everyone who believes, therefore you connected with the kingdom of God that God brought down when he came down to this earth. In his shoulder there is a government and I believe in that government there is authority. So now we live in this earth to bring the authority from heaven. And we will come out as a conqueror in this battle. Amen. So we are not be divided. Don't worry. Uh, don't be sad. We are in the battle. As long as God is in us, the happy and the joy of salvation will be always in, in us. Amen. So there are all in here, be shepherd of God's flock that is under your care. Watching over them, not because you must, because you are willing. So not because of compulsion, compulsion that you uh, look after your flock, you look after your children spiritually, your uh, family, your uh, whoever in your house, but because you are willing to do it according to his will. So this is voluntarily come out from our heart. And believe me, our God is God of rewarder. Amen. That's why this is the one. This, this is the first one this morning. And the second one, I said, this is our stand at the moment in our battle. This is our stand. So we cannot do anything. But uh, if you not raise up, if you not stand up, uh, your family will be ruined. Because why? Because they only worry too much bad news instead of good news. No, you stand up. You bring the good news in your family, in your household. Therefore, this is the first one. Okay, the second one, you do it willingly. You do it voluntarily. The second one, and the second one, uh, in the first two also, uh, uh, yes, as God wants you to be, not pursuing dishonest skin. A lot of people making, uh, when they become a shepherd, uh, they make a business in the church, but you do it because you eager to serve. All right, that is sacrifice your time, sacrifice your heart, sacrifice your mind. Uh, this is because you eager to serve. All right, not because you want it, because you want to have money, uh, you want to make a business, you want to have a profit or dishonest gain. All right, that is the second one this morning, and the third one. Not lording over them, but be example. Why, why, that's why our church called ensemble. We are really be example. All right, uh, like a flock, we are walking at the front, not at the back. When a lion coming, we fight first, not our flocks. All right, so therefore we become. Uh, example to them, not lording over them, not forcing them, not be proud because we know more Bible upon, uh, rather than them. Therefore, now we become a sample upon them. That's three points this morning. If our chief shepherd coming, we will have the crown of glory. Oh, that's really rewarding. Believe me, they never fade away. Every crown from this world 
whatever they come from, made from, it will be fade away. But the crown of glory never fade away. Amen? All right, I will continue on. This is our stand. So the first stand, we have to help our family. We are not going out, we stand up, take up our royal priesthood. So we are connected with the kingdom of God in this earth. All right? And then we can have that authority. As long as we are living in this earth, the authority of heaven will be with us. And the second thing, uh, first five, they said in the first five, I will read it on. In the first five, in the same way, you who are younger, submit yourself to your elder. All of you clothe yourself with humility toward one another because God opposed the proud but so favor to the humble. Humble yourself therefore under God's mighty hand that he may lift you up in due time. I will stop first. This is the next, what we have to do. We have to humble ourselves, all right? Don't be arrogant, don't be boasting, don't be against what the government say. Uh, we think that we can have the protection from God so uh, God is more than God. I believe that, but uh, government is representative of God in this earth to make all people good. Therefore, we have to submit to the government, to the, the, the authority in this, uh, in this country. Uh, so, therefore, I believe this. Therefore, humble ourselves. Don't be arrogant. Don't be proud. All right? So, uh, I believe like this. If we are in the war, if we are in the war, if people... Don't stoop down, or what we call duck down, in Indonesia called tiarap. They will got the, they will hit by the bullet. Therefore, we have to stoop down now. The time for us to duck down, all right, to sleep on, to go to the uh, humble ourselves, to lower us up, okay, down. So duck down. Therefore, so we not get hit by the enemy. A bullet, all right? So this is the time for us to humble ourselves. Because why? When we humble in the verse 6, they said, Humble yourself, therefore, under God's mighty hand, that he may leave you out in due time. So when we humble ourselves and we empty ourselves, he will be in our life. So the glory is belong to him. When we come out, no longer I, but Christ who lives in me. So he is the winner, all right? Therefore, we are more than conqueror, we are more than winner, not because of us, because of him who is in us. So this time of moment, humble ourselves. Just follow what uh, government regulation, just don't be arrogant, don't be upset. People who upset is really arrogant, all right? Be happy with the situation. Uh, because you can't control everything, but God is in control. If God let you happen to get into this situation, so accept it at the moment. Surrender to him. Believe in him totally. That is humbleness, actually. And you will see. So you will pass through this situation. You will pass through this moment. Amen? That is the second thing of our stand uh, to fight this battle. This, this is our defense now. Our defense upon the bed uh, in this battle. All right, and then he said in the verse seven, cast all your anxiety on him because he care for you. Be careful. This is, is a gap that Satan will use it. Therefore, don't be worried. Don't have anxiety because why? Be happy. If we really believe in God, God is in control. What are we gonna worry about? We can edit even single uh, thing of our life with our worriness. Therefore, we have to be strong and strong because His strength will be in us when we believe in Him. All right? So, no, don't worry. Don't worry. Worry will, will make down your uh, immune system. So, therefore, you will be stressed and then you even you can't do anything. This time of moment... Uh, cast all your anxiety, all right? Believe and trust in the Lord Jesus Christ, okay? And, and, uh, and verse 8, so this is, uh, be alert and sober mind. 
I will read it. Be alert and sober mind uh, means that well balanced and self discipline Alert and cautious at all time. Because why? That enemy of yours, the devil prowls around like a roaring lion, seeking someone to devour. All right? So that's why, that's why we have to really be alert and sober in our, in our mind. Because we know, we are not, if you are arrogant, you can see it, his movement. Even you can see this corona, you, even you can see it. So therefore, you have to really be alert, be cautious, all right, in your life now. And follow uh, what the instruction, and follow what's God's word. And yeah, be obey in him. Because why? This is what our belief, only through this kind, through this faith, that we can attack back. That is our fight back. That is, uh, that is our weapon. Nothing else. We can. So after this three, first thing, we take it our uh, royal priesthood, stand it up. The second thing, humble ourselves. The third thing, don't be worried. Don't be anxious. And then we fight back down. This is our combat, which is uh, our faith. Resist him. Standing firm in the faith because you know that the family of believers throughout the world is undergoing the same kind of suffering. And God of all grace who call you to his eternal glory in Christ after you have suffered a little while, while him, while, will himself restore you and make you strong, firm and staff, uh, steadfast. To him be the power forever and ever. Amen. So, three things that we need to do. The first thing, take up your royal priesthood seriously. You've been ordained by God himself. Not only become a father, not only become a mother, not only become a grandmother, but become a royal priesthood. So look after the flock that you can reach out. In your household. The second thing. Humble yourself. In his hand. In his mighty hand. So he will lift you up. So stoop down. Now the time for us to stoop down. To duck down. So the enemy bullet. Not gonna hit us. Alright. And the third thing. Don't worry. Alright. Be happy. Because we believe in him, we trust in him, and we surrender totally in him. And we believe he is in control, and he is Emmanuel in our life, be with us. And the joy of salvation, the peace of God, the Prince of Peace, that beyond our understanding will be fully in our life to make us joy. Why we have joy? No, I don't know why. Because why? Because God is in us. Amen. That's three things. And then the last one is your faith that fight back. So they will make you doubt. They will make you doubt, look like we can. Our sense you can't do anything. But believe me, with your faith, that how you fight back. Because you have faith in Christ Jesus. You have faith in his word. Believe me, all his word will prevail and never fail. Because God himself, will defend his word to be true, to be the fact. He will create our future. He will create our future. The salvation will be there. And believe me, restoration will be there. Amen? Okay, let's we pray. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you for uh, this afternoon, Lord Jesus, that we can worship you, Lord Jesus. That we can praise you, Lord Jesus. Take it. We can be in your presence, Lord Jesus. The joy of salvation is in us, Lord Jesus, because we believe. We believe totally we surrender, Lord Jesus. We lift up our hand as a sign of our surrender, as a sign of our humility, that you be lifted up and we be lowered down and we emptied ourselves, our mind, our strength, our richness, and you fill us fully, Lord Jesus. You fill us fully, Lord Jesus. And thank you, thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you. 
thank you Lord Jesus for the strength that you given upon each one of us for the power that you given upon each one of us Lord Jesus and your authority Lord Jesus will be in us Lord Jesus to help us Lord Jesus to walk in this earth Lord Jesus come out as a conqueror as a winner Lord Jesus not as a loser Lord Jesus we will fight this battle till end Lord Jesus only in you Lord Jesus and through you Lord Jesus and we believe Lord Jesus will be a witness through others Lord Jesus will be a witness Lord Jesus whatever people say we don't believe Lord Jesus we only believe Lord Jesus in your word alone Lord Jesus because you are more than anything Lord Jesus you are more than doctor Lord Jesus you are more than con uh, this worldly counselor Lord Jesus therefore we believe in you and in your word Lord Jesus and we will come out as a conqueror Lord Jesus and your name will be lifted up Lord Jesus will be testify wherever we are Lord Jesus and a lot of people now who are you who are still doubt in him just believe you cannot do anything else now you can do it believe in him take him and ask him he will show you maybe your eye your physical eye can't see him but you will see through your spiritual eye through your faith his work it will be done to you and through you now who you who are six now ask him call the name of Lord Jesus Christ he is the healer his blood he can heal you you are weak he can strengthen you call in his name believe this time of moment you can't do anything don't be arrogant be humble be humble call him believe in him he heal you now he heal you now he working through you now he working in you now he working take it take it in the name of Lord Jesus Christ in the name of Lord Jesus Christ let's we lift up our hand to receive the blessing from above the love of the Father the grace of the Son and the communion with the Holy Spirit will be with you from now till Maranatha the second coming of the Lord to make you become his witness no matter what wherever you are you will be his witness because you are part of the kingdom of heaven in this earth you take it up your royal priesthood now you will come out as a conqueror you are a winner because he live in you and he be with you thank you lord jesus all who believe and receive this blessing say Happy Sunday and God bless you all. I miss you.